Hi guys, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The special review for young Nico Baker. Well, Nico, we love you! Because the creepy bunny. Yes, and creepy bunny has decided to invade this one as well. I'm going to read. Well, I got to read. At the end of Living Kara, PK Baker decides she's going to give one of my favourite fans because I got to meet this cute little sweetheart at the last book con, which was my first book con, and apparently he's a fan of the Nico Nightmare series which, you know, I am over the moon about and he wrote 66 Smith Road and it won an award there's a brother, Nico, you won! Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> so I promised I would give a personal review to Nico on his short story that was at the end of the book. So we follow Tommy and Rowan. I'm probably saying that wrong. And their Christmas story of how they move into this new house with their family around Christmas and things start to go really, really wrong. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie to you, like, there's a little disclaimer that his mum puts in before the story saying, like, no, it's the editing and the spelling, don't worry about it. Dude, I have an editor. I, I have to admit, I feel like I should send Candice flowers every time she edits my stuff <laughs> because I'm 34 years old and I still have to have somebody look over my work so considering you're nine Nico you did an amazing job with this short story and you really did set it up great I love the atmosphere I, I was like oh this is lovely this is going to be a heartwarming ghost story and then this, this magical thing happened and I was broken because I was there going, oh, this is, so well, that escalated quite quickly, didn't it, Nico? And I am absolutely living for this story. I loved the ghost cat. I loved the pale boy. And I love the brutality of your ending, good sir. That is, <clears throat> I swear, this kid has got like a Stephen King style thing going on and I'm a living for it because he is not ashamed to talk about killing people. <laughs> and Nico, I am highly honoured that I got to read it. I got to meet you as well, author of this awesome story. Honestly, I think you're going to be a brilliant writer if you keep it up. And any more stories, I'm more than happy to read your work, good sir. And in regards to a continuation, because I did get a message from him saying that he, he did ask if there was going to be more Nico's Nightmare Portal Pet stories. What's going to happen? So. Yeah, I'm currently in talks at the moment uh, with the publisher and I'm going to have a word with my favourite illustrator, Leanne. I think we might have enough of a book coming <laughs> because obviously I feel really bad leaving it on a cliffhanger. But however, I've just got to point something out. Dude, you left this on a cliffhanger. So I think you pretty much got me back for that don't you <laughs> but definitely honestly I've, this is at the end of living care if you want to give nico some support as well don't forget to write a little review at the bottom on goodreads about his story because i'm sure any feedback on how to get into writing he's gonna love it so nico Thank you for being a fan of my work and thank you for making my day when you came to see me at the book convention and thank you so much for this story. I want to see more. If you need any help with anything or 
you have any ideas for the next Nico's Nightmare Portal Pet Adventure, oh, please, please reach out to me because we don't mind. Like, we love you. We think you're awesome. And, of course, have an amazing day. <laughs>